Hello everybody. Uh, today I just wanted to share with you guys a couple of uh, simple examples of inheritance and cascade. Just a refresher for myself and I thought I would share this. Um, inheritance and cascade has been a um, uh, been a while uh, has been around for a while uh, since early days of CSS and uh, yeah so uh, the first example of inheritance here is I have a simple markup with the div as a container for this p element and uh, we give this div a class test one so uh, what's happening here is test one has like a font family font size a padding actually I'm gonna comment out I'll show it later and the border property okay and I gave the P element as a background uh, background color so uh, what's happening here is that uh, P element actually gets styles inherited from a div element why it's happening because p is a child of this div so in this case uh, values of uh, class property values for class test one uh, the um, p element get gets gets them inherited from class test one okay so let's see we have found family frank uh, franklin gothic and font size 32 and uh, just to demonstrate this I gave uh, p element the background color of uh, burly wood and uh, let's see what's happening okay so we see here that the border the border property is this is the border for for the div and uh, this is the the font that uh, I'm using the font Franklin Gothic and uh, yeah so it gets uh, inherited by it's get it gets the font uh, the font size 32 and the font family uh, they get inherited by the P element in this case however not all properties are inherited from parent to a child and um, uh, in this example uh, the border property in, in, is not inherited so that's why I gave P element the background color just to demonstrate that the border property is not inherited and as you already seen the border is only on the div which is here and this one with the background this is the P and border is not inherited by this one by P element okay so that's the first one and uh, what's next next is a also very simple example of cascade for cascade we have two h1s one h one is h1 and the second h1 with a class test 2 so what's what's happening here is uh, it's actually the example of cascade and selector specificity so both h1s in this case they have a font size property the first h1 font size 32 pixels the second h1 uh, font size 48 and uh, what's happening here is the h1 has the font size 48 applied to the the applied to the second h1 and not uh, font size 32 why it's happening is because the selector the class selector uh, this one has the higher specificity than the element selector so as you can see here so this is this one with a class it has the font size of 48 but not 32 and again this is happening because of the higher specificity specificity of the uh, class selector okay and uh, yeah so that's uh, what I wanted to share with you guys and um, yeah if you have any comments uh, just put them below the video 
and um, as always thank you for watching